Welcome back, Rare Talks. You already know what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you go over to the Spotify and check out the Spotify. And mm. I'm joined this week by the wildest co host in co host history. Why, well, see, man, let's get back to business, bro. Come on, man. And if you don't know, we've got an event this Sunday. But by the time this video comes out, the event would have been done. So you would have probably shown clips already. But I'll probably put a clip just right here. Something and then you'll see it. it. Yeah, friend. so. Yeah, old, old. <laughs> yeah, man. Today. How's things, how's things been, though, man? Fam, you know what I mean? As long as I'm as long as I'm alive, I've got my health, I'm nice, fam. Yeah? Man's up, fam, regardless. Come on. Come on, man. You know the vibes. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, man, this week, um, it's been an eventful week. Um, some crazy girl on TikTok. <laughs> Do you know what I've started to realise? There's a lot of lonely single mothers that live on TikTok. You just found out, fam. Yeah, I kind of knew before, but like, you know, after a year of doing social experiments, I've been using you people as social experiments. Shame. Little do you know. <laughs> yeah. See how they move, innit? Yeah, because um, I've had theories that I've heard other people mention mm. and I've finally put them into practice and it's actually accurate. So you see like theory, yeah. like a woman who's been single for a long period of time with a lock of pipe. Red flag fam. Someone said that from years back and yeah. it's only now that I've actually realised that's actually deep. a thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was a thing before. And like, you know, theories like um, women that have lots of male friends are very promiscuous. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care what a woman says, because what can a woman offer me as right. friendship? I've just realized in the last three weeks, it's mm -hmm. become so apparent to me why I can never have women as female friends. Dead. Associates like, or business, but not like... No, not as my friend. Like, yeah, yeah, you see yeah. how me and you, we, we... See, after we finish our podcast, we sit and have like deep conversations, yeah? Yeah, right. But I'll give you proper advice. 100%. You'll yeah. be like... Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm like, bro, yo, what are you doing? Yeah. I'll tell you the Move truth, right? Mm. But if I was a girl, I'd be like, yeah, man, go do your finger, yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't care about what your the de the detriment of your life. Does it make sense? That's real, you know. That's so real because women are out there giving other women some advice, knowing it's fucked up, yeah, because they don't actually care. They're not invested like how a man would want another man to start winning. Yeah, a, a woman will low key hit another woman and give her some fucked up advice, and that woman will run with it. And you're thinking, yo, yo, this is good info. And then two weeks, like two, three weeks later, like she hit the dirt. What happened? And then, and then she'll hit, she'll hit the girl back who gave the advice. Like it didn't work. And the whole time the girl's laughing at her, thinking, yeah, like I played you dirty. My That's how they move. Girls don't care about other girls, bro. They don't generally want to see other women win because women, we all know, women hate women differently, fam. Differently, like women actually have hates other women. Whether it's like, like their hair, their skin, like like they'll hate on dumb things. <laughs> if you if you see a guy, yeah, if you see a guy with potential. And and you you like you're you're a good pure hearted guy. You want to see him when you put him on. Tell him your brother get a haircut. Like wear this. You try and put him up. But women don't have that energy in them. I don't know why they hate. Them. I don't know why they hate it from. It's kind of mad, you know. That like, really really rare. Unless she's like a day one gal. She known from like twenty years. Yeah, she'll give a woman some fucked up advice. And that's why I would never go to women's advice about uh, about relationships. Never in my life. I would, I would never ask a girl how do I get a girl. Never. 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 She gives some shit advice, fam. No, the man will tell me the, the, real, the real thing. Oh, Jesus. She will tell me. you how to be a simp mm -hmm. and how to lose your girl. Yeah, right. Me, I'm telling you how to keep her yeah. forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, man, this is what I'm trying to say. But women do have their benefits. Let me tell you something. If I did have a lot of female friends, I'm not going to lie. I'd just be smashing. If, if, of course. I'd be smashing. Every time mm -hmm. they break up, I'd be like, oh, that was really sad. Yep. Shoulder to cry on. Dick to suck on, yeah, I know the vibes. That's how it is, fam. But and but they really, do you know what? Yeah, I don't. Know. But that's just our nature. And, and do you know what? But at least we keep it a band, though. You know what I mean? Like man will tell you from day, like I'm not into that. And but but it's funny because more time a girl will respect when a man again just a hundred. Listen, I'm not with that. I'm with this. You accept it or you don't. And they respect it over time. Maybe not initially, that first hit. But like, no, I don't do all that. I, but, After a but, while, but here, how the girls run brain now? Here the girls run brain. Oh, I think you ain't never had a friend like me. All right, I don't cool. want a friend do, like do you know what? Let me let me break this down to you, yeah? and I'm going to be very diplomatic here. Yeah? Mm. A girl will be like, I will tell a girl from the beginning, I don't want to be friends. I want to smash. Hundred yeah? right, cool. percent. Cool. Cool. Listen to this, YC, and this is how I know women are twisted. They will still be like, oh, let's be friends first. All right, cool. I smash. Now remember, she yeah. said, let's be friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now she's like, oh, what are we now? Hundred percent. We're exactly what you thought we was. We're mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. I respect you as a friend. Yeah, that's real. Oh, well, we're not going to go to the other level. No, nah, man, you don't do that with your friends. No, we don't do that. So what we had sex though, yeah, because we can do that, isn't it? FWB, man. Because that's the reason. The only benefit women give men is pum pum. Facts. In in the sense of being friends. Yeah. 
Now, what you can be is an associate. It's called a business, yeah. That means that we do a little business and you cut your way, I go my way. I don't need to call you for advice, you don't need to call me for advice. No late night texts, none of that. But the <laughs> thing is, women get more benefit from a me- from male best friends 100%. than men get from women best 100%. friends. 100%. Because we'll tell her when men are running game on her and what he's trying to mm-hmm. do. Does it make sense? Trust me, I've done it bare times as well. But then, in the same breath here, yeah, I'll say that and to say this, because I made a video earlier and I said... Free game. A man said this earlier. I, I said this earlier. I said, if a man's friends with a woman, yeah, mm. but she's still single, that means he's giving her crap advice. If a woman has male friends, but she's still single and still doesn't understand men, what are they actually for her friends? They're not really her friends. That's real. They just want to give her a hood. He's, no, but, yeah, but the guy's giving her dead advice so he can bang her. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what he's doing. Because why would he give her good advice? Do you think a man would want to see an attractive woman who's his friend Fuck another guy when he's thinking I could have plugged that. Why, like why would I? Why would I set her up for next man? As a guy would never do that, bro. A guy would, and, or, or on the opposite, so he's gonna find out that she's smashing someone from the advice he gave, and now she's telling him about dick stories that the guy's given to her. That why would a guy do that? It doesn't, bro. It, it no, never. It will never happen unless she's unattractive, yeah, and doesn't provide like any benefit or, or like there's zero visual attraction. He's never gonna do it. Why? Why would you want to do it? Like you want it for yourself, innit? Like, cause you gotta think, yeah. Like having a girl is full time, bro. It, it, even a friend, a girl is full time. Cause a woman will confide in you, look for advice. Yeah. It's full time. Yeah. You, so you so can't have a part time friend. Thank you. So that's, <laughs> that's why I said, if if anything, yeah. the woman that I'm with is my best friend. She has to be. And if she can't fulfill that role, then she's not the woman for me. Mm. Because she's gonna tell me a whole bloody life story. Everything. I'm gonna have to flip it, take on all them emotions. Bro, I haven't got time to have bare women that, I've, that I'm Bro. emotionally attached to. Mm-hmm. That's what drains out a lot of men and Drain. leaves them with no energy to mm-hmm. actually perform the life tasks that they're meant to do to actually better their lives. It's too much. And that's why a lot of men out there, you're not actually following your dreams because you've got a lot of women friends that you think are your friends and you're giving all your energy to all these women. Too she much. just went for a breakup. She just got this. She's got, she's, she got a slap and, slap mm-hmm. and go. Mm-hmm. Now you have to deal with all of these emotions. Her dad's not there for her, so she's crying because her dad locked off the phone on her earlier. Long. Bare different problems. All four of these girls that you have as friends giving you. Yep. Then the man them call you, you don't want to listen to me because you're so bothered that you're like, I'm going to get pom pom later if I keep talking to her. So you don't want to chat to your real male friend that's really going through real stress. 100%. So now my mental health is at risk and you're not even talking to me, you're talking to this flipping wildebeest. Yep. Every, fam, every man every man did it. And man, man are not proud to admit it, but every man has stayed on the phone to a girl for like five hours just to ensure he gets pussy at the end of it. A man is listening to all the ex stories, the hurt, the trauma, the abuse. My uncle touched me. A man will listen to all that fuckery just so he can stick dick in her. And bro, because that's the game, bro. I, you know what's with you, but, I'm but, embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Every man's done it. I'm embarrassed. Man's to done say it. that I've done this. Every man's done it. A good five at five. I'm talking about three in the morning. You're like, you're like, ne- I, you know, I can't tell you the last time I've been on the phone for f- f- more nah, than two nah, hours. Nah, 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 they don't run with me. But back you get 20 or 30 minutes. I swear, that if I give you an hour, I actually check for you. I fuck with you. I actually check for you. But anybody I give an hour to on the phone, Facts. I actually check for you. I don't even like calling. I've gone like, Too like message me, bro. Message or, or me. voice note. Yeah, message me. I, I can't do all this. Like, message me. But the thing is, with messages now, I'm starting to think girls are very devious of it. Girls mm. will ask you questions so they can screenshot you. Hey, why see? I've been happening. Yeah, but we're, we're at a different level now. I've been happening. We're at a different level. Girls just say anything and then spin a narrative. Yeah. It's not even true to try and make you look a certain way. And that's where we're at. Way. That's where we're at right now. So, man, then be careful when you're sliding girls' DMs. Especially on Insta. Because a girl will unsend messages she sent. You can do that on TikTok as keep, well. She didn't even know. So, they'll unsend the ones they sent. Leave the ones you sent and made it look like you had a mad convo. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Bruh. Is that what, is that what we're no doing context. now? Is that what we're doing now? Yeah, so, then, yeah. so then the shop rally was, did he just say that? But if you saw the build up, she was talking crazy. But she's on the screenshot, you looking mad. And man will just run with it in it. So yeah, that's why, that's why I don't really talk. I don't, like, I don't do that talking too much no more, fam. No, no, no. It's like, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not getting in, in, in the whole DM things. But it's, it's funny you say that though, because. I'll slowly get into just one of the questions that I was thinking about on the way here, yeah. And I was I was deep in it. I was, I was watching the video online, yeah. Mm. That's like, and some girl was talking about like she had a whole face, and we know that's normal, in it. But I started deep in it, yeah. Like man's all spaced out on the train. I feel I thought like 
do whole phases for women ever end? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that. I was really trying to deep it, you know, for ages. And I thought, I thought, you know what? I need to bring it to the general. I need to ask him. Because do you ever think it ends? A woman's whole phase? Do you think? Do you know what I genuinely believe? If you have a car that just keeps having problems mm. over a long period of time, the only thing you can do is get rid of it and get a new car. So unless she has reinvented herself, I'm talking about like her whole identity changed. So she used to be this like party girl that used to do this, but now she's like a Muslim and she's covering herself and she's just like not on road. Like okay. she, she changed her name, she changed her identity. Bruh. She, she tried to move Wax like Lake areas. Clean. Yeah, like she's moved areas. She's not a whole in South London anymore. She a West London wifey. Like mm. then that can happen. But in general, I don't think if you're still in the same environment around the same people, it right. can't happen because mm. you still, you see how man them have road names yeah like, i'll give you like uh, you might have left the roads 10 15 years ago but still but his brother still known him as as a stabber man right 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 so when he's around the man them he still has a kind of persona to kind of put on it's the same with there. that the, the whole phase she's mm. still gonna have friends around and be like oh yeah do you remember when you was and bro i can even tell you of a of a of a, of a gal now bro mm. i can even tell you of a name of nah. a gal that's going through my head right now Swear. that i heard of the other day that she was supposed to be on Dean, all of this, all of this. Uh, she was out, uh, she was out the other weekend with another girl. So saying. it's like, this this stuff really does happen, bro. Like, and she was in her whole face for a whole lot of time, mm. if you get what I'm saying. So it's like, mm. where the, you can't, a woman will say, Yo, I'm not in my whole phase anymore. But what she means is that I used to take 10 pipes a year. Now I'm only taking three. It's cut down by it drastically. That's when a man says, I'm st- a womanizer. You can't just stop being a womanizer straight away. No, it takes time. My brother, my own blood brother has called me and told me he's, he's settling down, bro. Swear. Okay. Do you know what I was thinking? Risky, Baby, let's get married. Jagged a drip from my head. But then reality went back to my head. Mm, that's the fear. That's the I don't want to be a player no more. There were so many songs yeah. that went through my head at that moment, yeah? But I realized one thing. Mm. He's going through that. You know what? You see, Pum Pum, some Pum Pum has judge blood. Do you think so? 100%. I was really deep in it. I was like, is there really, is there really a, like good pussy, bad pussy? Hey, what? Have you ever, ever, ever mashed a gal and, and it's like you can't stop thinking about her? But it's nothing to do with her. The Pum Pum in the head she gave you was so mad. It's like you're, you're oh, trying, yeah. you're trying to forget about her mm. because you know she's just a piece of crap. But the Pum Pum's so good. And you still want to, you her still want to smash. You know this girl is no good for you, bro. Yeah, no, I've been there still. It's, but you then, know she's no good. You actually know she's no good. You actually know she's actually a menace to society. But the pum pum and head's so good, it makes you think, damn boy, I gotta go back there for one last time. It's always one last time. But it never ends though. <laughs> that one last time is forever, bro. But you know what? I think it, I think it's everything. I think it's their aura. Like even like maybe the way they walk or like like the like Perfume they use, you know what's funny? The clothes, holes, body hanging out. You're holes thinking- actually, holes, and this is gonna sound mad, yeah. Three or fours, because I have to use different words. Three or fours, yeah. They they actually have something special about them. A little bit, yeah. And they know that. That's why they're three or fours because that's why they they get around so much mm. because their special gift that they've been gifted with, they're spreading it around. And that's why back in the day, I generally believe yeah, they had strip clubs and they definitely had. A lot of prostitution going on. Must have been, innit? Like in that back in the day For days. Women, because yeah. because them women they had a purpose and they served their purpose. As, as I know this sounds wild what I'm saying. <laughs> this sounds crazy, <laughs> but they had a purpose and they mm. served their purpose. And, and and it's just like some men that are just not on nothing, just dicking down gal all day. They've got a purpose and they that's they serve their purpose. Yeah. I mean I think yeah, cause I think that I think that there's like a certain lure to them, fam. Like, like there's some, like there's some girls that, yes, yeah, so like you know that she's a J bag, she's like, for the streets, Jezebel, yeah, Jezebel spirits high, but it's just, she, it's like the pussy just gets to hold you in a way, yeah, where it's like you're you're just circling back, and not another, and it's got to be regular, like six months like might go by, you might be like, you know what, I miss piping Jenna, you know. Like and then you, and, but then like you ain't got a number you blocked. So you think no, no, that's a number. Where's she at? It's mad, fam. That pool is mad. This is reliable. No, but it's, you think it's what? But not. But you know what? But it's rare because not every girl has. No, a lot of girls don't have that. No, they don't. That like good pussy, bad pussy is actually 
I thought it's real because I thought back in the day when I was younger, like you couldn't have bad pussy. Like when I mean bad, I mean like just it doesn't hold you. Like it's not like there's, just, there's no real like anything to it. It's just like it was a hole that man just slapped out. But Jezebel's spirit is high, you know, fam. Like they have something about them, fam. Like even like for me personally, yeah, it's like a hole will have the most outfits. She'll have like heels and like the cuff. Like hole will go all out, fam, to make almost like to make you feel like you're that guy. A go uh, like a fucking hole will fucking. Make you feel like you are just a, the man. In that moment, she'll let you dominate her, tie her up. All that stuff the regular woman don't do. A mm. hoe will make sure that you're going to be taken care of sexually, bro. But then it's fucked because I think the fact that they can separate from you, though, and, like, give you that and then just say, hold it. That's and scary. That's mad, though. That's scary. So, like, soul snatching, that's man. That's scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. That there is why... I would tell men it's better to <laughs> abstain sometimes. Sometimes, to, yeah. To actually go back there because it's like... Demon pussy, fam. Do you know what? I start thinking some of these guys are possessed by demons. No, they are. Demonic pussy, fam. No, bro, bro. But I'm... Bro, I'm saying, like... I would really agree with you. I they're actually possessed you. by something, bro. Something is... Because, bro, I'm saying some of these guys are unnatural how they move, you know? Like, the way that they're moving. That's why I said the whole phase, I don't believe it ever dies. Once you are once you go into, once you enter certain realms, mm -hmm. there's no coming back. Unless I mean, you do exactly what I said. Right, right, right. But in, in general, in the hind sense of it, nah, the whole phase. It, and if you're just still the same girl in the same era, same thing, how do you change? What? The only thing changed is that you got a man now. But let me tell you, this mm. is a real life story. And, and whoever you are, yeah, I feel sorry for you. But there was a girl once, she was a three or four. I never touched her. Lord, Lord, thank you. But I remember I went to a yard, I was shooting a music video back in the day, and all the guys in the yard are like, yeah, man, that girl's a three or four, man. We, that we all Everyone beat. Run through, yeah. We all beat. Like, he beat, he beat, he beat, he beat. And I was like, raw, that's like five men in the yard that beat this girl. But she was acting so cordial with everyone. Mm. And she was trying to, like, move friendly with me. But obviously, I already knew her angle. Like, she's a, that's what so, she's on. Yeah. So, like, man was like, and they were saying that, like, she's done mad things. Like, two men had her bend over. She was giving this Train. one. Like, this man is beating. Like, it was a mad. Train, it was know. a mad reverse. And then girl come in there and start doing them. So I was like, raw, she's actually on smoke. But. At that time, I wasn't really on that kind of energy. Does it make sense? So I, I found it kind of unattractive. You yeah, would do, innit? Fast forward eight years later, bro. I see her in Brixton with a baby and a man pushing a pram. And he, and uh, he's my guy. Is none the wiser, innit? I, don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think anybody can pattern up in life, but I feel like a whole phase is like a. It's almost like a, uh, like a a constant itch. So it might go away, but just I, I just think once it's been it, once it's been like been a part of you, yeah. Cause we all know that you know, like the like we said. I think even you said before, like the more sexual partners a woman has, the harder it is to settle down. Cause her comparison is too is too vast. Like so, if you've got twenty men, it, like the new guy's got to, like compete with the twenty men she had before, but not even like it might be like subconsciously. So it's like she, like she's not trying to compare you, but she might think back to like he had me like this and he did like he did that, and the sexual compatibility might be off. So if two guys done something she like. And you don't, you're already offbeat. Do you know what I mean? So I think when you have a lot of sexual partners and you go through a lot of man, the mental effects it has on a woman is crazy. But even like a guy saying, wait, fam, like if you if you if you link four girls that give mad top, yeah, and then your potential girl you're seeing now, she don't give top, it's a, it's an immediate turn off. Thing like cause like it's that that's become standard for you. Like give a top is standard. But she don't do it, you're like, I can't get with it, you know. And it might seem silly to her. But your 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 sexual experience has got you to the point where you need that. So do you know what I mean? That's no, real. But, no, but you know what? There's actually I actually knew a girl that was on the same thing, but with with eating. So <laughs> she wants a man to do that because she's so used to that happening, and and it's at a high level when it happens to her. <laughs> so she's like, "Well, you don't eat pum pum." Like, yeah, oh, like, it's a shock. Like, what? Like, yeah, like can't believe I, it. I knew that the game wasn't the same yeah, from it's, that it's moment. Done. It's done. She, she she knew that because she's like, "I'm used to this. This is what I want." You know what I'm saying, but then facts. I'll say this to say that, yeah, like for a man, if I'm being honest, yeah, certain things that's done sexually to a man is more detrimental than, than to a woman because if a woman has five partners, yeah, mm -hmm. and I just imagine this, and this, this is a mad scenario I'm about to say to Go you, on. yeah, imagine every, every guy she's beat after, yeah, he's always went harder than the other guy. So imagine her threshold, she's never hit a threshold of like, right. of peakism. Right. Because every guy's got peaker. 
Mm. So five guys she's been with, they've all been. So the first one is peak. The second was peak. Like first one was thirty minutes. The second one was an hour. Next one was two, two hours. hours. Next one was three hours. Su- Next one was like super freak. Done everything that she ever dreamed of in Possibly. her mind. Right, right. And he done it to her. Mm. So now it's like, <laughs> now she's come down to being like a wife. Mm. But her husband's a square. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They can't work. He's a square. He's yeah, a square. He he's not work. a nothing. He's a square. Mm-hmm. He's just having missionary every night. And in the back of her mind, she's like, the way Sam done me, bro, I can't lie. This guy is not, I don't even squirt with him. I don't even like, he doesn't do certain things to me that Sam used to do. And she's yeah. beating, she's beating you and she's thinking that. She's like, ah, 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 Sam, Sam, Sam. Yeah. Bro, that's, that's mad, you know. And you're the husband, you're That's not the wiser, because she's like, oh my God. He's a square as well. He wasn't going to know that, because it's funny, because I was going to say to you, do you know that men who aren't satisfying their women sexually makes the woman start reminiscing about pastimes with other guys during sex? And you know... And uh, you would never know that. I know, but guess what? They do bring it up. They do um, remember it to you, because they'll say things like... Oh, my ex used to be this, my ex used to do that. Little that's, jabs. Yeah, that's her way of saying, I'm still thinking about him. Because my man was a freak. He's all f- making videos. He was doing the madness. Stuff. And she, trust me, that stuff damages women's mental health. When they're going through their phone, they broke up with you six months later. She's with this guy. He's not even doing this thing. And she didn't even get her off. She's looking at that video of you when you got her off. That video of you smoking it down. That video will never leave her forever. She and, will never leave. And like, do you think so? Like, are you saying that any woman who keeps a sex video of an ex or past guy, like, she's still playing it back? If I went through my <laughs> missus phone and she had in some hidden art channels, seven, oh, seven, eight years ago, I swear that I would know that one thing. That guy is what's the, what's that thing that we used to call when women are in, not ingrained? What is it called? Mm-hmm. When a woman like, Go on. like she's got a stamp on her from a man. What's what do imprint? We, I don't know. Imprinted woman. Right. The imprinted woman. We need to keep our labels because you know oh, they're, yeah, they're, okay. they're, they're like arting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The imprinted woman is real. Yeah. There's a lot of men. There's a lot of women walking around right now that have been imprinted by a man. A hundred percent. You you you're getting neck off her thinking, bro. How's her neck so good? Crazy. Do you th- what do you think? There wasn't a guy out there that was like, no, you're doing it wrong. You're doing this. Do this. Do it like this. And if she went home, got her eyes slowly and started practicing and said, I need to become better. And he started doing mad things in her throat, start throwing mm. up, vomiting all the time. And she's like, okay, so I know my threshold is hair. And she's doing a madness. Right, bro. right, right. Someone imprinted her. He turned it her out. Come, he... It didn't just come by acts. It didn't just come by by chance. He turned her out. Of course he did. But I mean, I guess that's kind of expected in a in a long-term relationship or just a relationship but i think it is it's it's scary because i don't think you do even want to know your woman's past times because like deep it now yeah imagine if if a girl's with a guy for five years and they made home they made home pornos and like they did dominatrix whips and chains and shit yeah that was their movie at the time you didn't know it that's what it was but coming into it you don't know none of that but then when she's trying to tell you let's try this if you're not with it the relationship's done like at that point, if you're not on what he was doing to her, yeah, you would never be able to amount up to what he was. You can't replace that guy. So and I, and that's why I also think that's why I also think sexual compatibility is real, you know. No, but I think women should need to be honest they have about to be honest. things that mm-hmm. they like in their whole sense. So, like for me, there's certain things that I will not. Um, I have non-negotiables in certain in certain areas. For you to do to her, just in just in, in, ge- in general, like okay, okay. I expect food. I expect back. Oh, right, right, okay, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've got expectations. Right, 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 right. I've got boundaries and expectations. And I feel like if you don't have no expectations in a relationship, then you're a little boy. That's a little boy thing when you're just getting with a girl just for the sake of being with a girl. Like, I ain't got time for that. I'm a grown man. That's why I was, that's why I was shocked when, when someone said to me, I'm with a, like, I'm with a 43 year old woman that hasn't got kids. And I'm like, bro, so what are you doing with her? <laughs> you're like, like, you, you want to settle down with that? He's like, yeah. I'm like, brother, you're flopping. It's done. Like, I'm keeping it 100. This is the real advice. Now, women, what would women say? If we asked a woman, mm-hmm. a woman's going to say, there's nothing wrong with that. They can do IVF, blah, blah, blah. But even on that sense here, yeah, if she's 42, 43, not... how many years do, does she have of health yeah. to be with that child? Left, left, yeah. Old mum and that. Mm. A 50 year old mum with an eight year old. Come you know on. how hard a two-year-old is? It's true. De- energy for days. Bro, they're just... Yeah, you need... You need. Like you're, you're like, bro, why do you keep running? I'm saying, man's not even old yet, and I'm finding it. I'm, I have to keep Duracell up. Duracell bunny. Running for days. Fam, come in, like, I, got, I got a son, fam. Like, and then by the time she's on. 55, the child's what? Like 10 or 11, 13. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then what? 60, the child's 20. And they're taking care of you, pushing you around in wheelchair. That's dead. When you've got youthfulness in you as a mother, you, need to, you could do way more because you're more experimental course, with your in children. Tune, yeah, yeah, 
yeah. and you're more with it as well. You're not that far gone. Mm. 60, 20, that's, that's 40 years gap. The shit that I'm going to be on, you ain't even going to know. True. And if you are, then you're a kid. Being an old mum is dead. I mean, if it, it, because that, it's, it's funny how women don't see red flags in situations where a, ma- a man would. So like, let's say a woman's like 35 without a kid, yeah? In their head, they're the perfect suitor or potential match for you. Like in a woman's head, I don't have any uh, dependents, yeah? I don't have any child. So coming into it, he should take me like, it's like my man's still like, no, because why did all the other guys fail? How did no one land you? <laughs> like, why, why am I going to be the guy to give you a you? when the last 10 guys couldn't do it. Something must be wrong with you. Like, I refuse to believe, yeah, that it took me to come in the picture. And, and it's not saying I don't rate myself, but why now I'm the guy to step up and give you you? A big 35, it couldn't happen before. How does, how's that possible? It, for me, that's, that's a red flag like, from the rip, bro. From the rip. There has to be something wrong with her. And usually character comes out later. So we'll find out the reason why three, four months down the line, like we'll see certain traits and be like, that's why no one cuffed you, bro. Like, okay, cool. But then you have to go through that process. And those women will convince themselves, I'm not the problem. And they'll go through life in years. Like, so, so, um, like, uh, like, like they'll be so resilient and so like combative. Like, it's not me that, Life will just keep progressing and five years, ten years, to a point where a woman will say, you know what, I don't, I, like, I don't even think I'd be good with kids. Like, they'll start convincing themselves that kids ain't even for them because it's been so long. You know, they're like, I've missed the window of opportunity. It's gone now. But she might have had three, four good guys who's willing to lay down with her, but they've all gone and moved on with another woman now. And, and now she's just stuck in their yard. Fucking fat cats, Ben and Jerry's and Netflix movies. Fans. That's where she's at. She has to really uh, accept that. Everything has to be comp- like you got you got to compromise. It's never it's never going to be all one way in it. But I think some women have this like building in their head yeah, where they got this perfect guy, tick bare boxes. I'm like sis, you can't be so demanding at big thirty plus. You have to level it down a bit because any man you're going to meet now, you're probably going to want like a couple youths because that's what most people do at a young age. They have kids or just what their their, their life is in certain places. And if you're a career driven woman, that's even more of an L because when it's time to settle down, everyone's life is in order. Like, ima- imagine being 35 and trying to get on time with an 18-year-old. It's like their life is, is already, it's moving now. So you can't come with it with, with your old energy and feel like, say, I'm going to move on your time. So if a woman's got to accept the fact that, right, okay, cool. This guy's 37. He's got two kids. That's already an L for her because he's got his life together. He's got a job, two kids. He's moving around. He's doing things. She's got to now fit into his life. So now she becomes a problem for you. So it's very sticky. So a lot of women who think, I haven't got a kid, I, I can find, I've got time. No, you have, it's something must be really wrong. Red flag antennas are up, bro. If you ain't got a you and you're 35 plus, something is fucking wrong. And don't tell me, oh, no, guy's really been the one. Or don't tell me, like, it just hasn't happened. Don't tell me it just hasn't been right. That's cat, bro. Because I, I guarantee if I go on your phone and hold up one of your exes, you're going to tell me all the things that's wrong with you. He must do. How else, bro? I'm not convinced. Now, I think I was 22. I don't really expect her to have a kid at that age. I understand that. But 35, you're a big woman now. Even you know? 26, I'd say not bad. It's still all right. But, but if you say Late to 20s. me you're a 35 or 36 you year old woman and you ain't got... And this is why I say, like, Pastor says I wouldn't be of a child, girl of kids, but I would personally. And the reason why is because I, I find it normal I for would. a woman to have children I at would. a certain age, at, at man's big age. Of course. Because man's got youths, you know what of I'm saying? Man's not, a, man's not a little man. Man's been trying to start things, you know what I'm saying? Man, even if it hasn't gone the way I wanted, I I've been... Tr- I tried... You're telling me at 37 years old, you ain't even tried to have a family. It's so it's so what you been on contraception all these years? Your womb mm. must be finished. Finished. I ain't got no time to be no empath and sit there and be like, you know what, maybe it's the man's fault where he's not further. To get it. Listen, let me tell you something. All of that, yeah, that can all be the case, but I'll be honest with you, I ain't got time to find out. I don't, I don't have time. Yeah. I, I don't have time to find out. I've, I've got, there's so many women that are fertile, I'm looking at them. That's the truth. And if she's got two youths already, that already gives me indication she can have children. Whether we are going to have children is yeah, a whole other story. It's irrelevant, no. But at least I know she can. Yeah, it's irrelevant. I, I, I'd rather... You know, it's funny. Like, growing up, I'm thinking, a woman with kids is dead. Now, now at my big age, yeah, fam, like, I've dated a girl with two kids and it was calm. Yeah. Because we understood each other's time. I, like, I understood what, what the, her, her time constraints as a mother and day she might not be free. So it, it kind of worked because she was holding what she's free and it was, it was nice with it, fam. You know what I mean? But a young girl or guy might not understand the dynamics of parenthood because they don't have kids. But like, so it's like, so like you can't call a girl at three in the morning saying pull up if you've got two youths. It's not going to happen. 
Now, get with that, kids, you can do that. But certain times, you like a guy gone into it, and there are women out there who would prefer a man with kids also. So he under because he he would understand my position. It's the yeah. same thing, isn't it? Yeah, I understand it. And you could do family things if you really yeah. get that serious. Like we could take our kids yeah. to do. We could take our kids on holiday. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a local family that we don't really need to make anymore. We got already. So for me, it's an all establishment. But for me personally, I wouldn't say for a young man to go and seek out. But if you're a man, you're you're a man that's got a you when you. And you're, you got your own yard, you got a job, you everything going right. Yeah, you're Why are you picking up an old woman for? No need. How much young girl out there? There's 5.6 billion women in the world. That's true. You can never be out with, without a woman in this day and age, you know? If you're really looking, you know? I think it's three women to one guy or something. Four women to one guy now. It's Bro, mad. see if you went, if you went one day <laughs> yeah, and you rid the train for an hour or two, yeah? Dumb. And you was just talking to girls. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, you're hitting at least, you're getting about you, uh, let's ratio your number. You oh. talk to 20 gal, you're getting at least 10 numbers. You'd have to. You're and then you're, riding you're a train all day. Five, 100%. From like 12 to like 7, yeah, just all day, 100% you get that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, what? If you if was out that long? From like 12 afternoon to like 7 p.m., just riding the trains. Bro, you're getting about 50 <laughs> numbers. <laughs> Probably, yeah. If you look good as well and you look fresh, because remember, girls. Fresh trim and clothes, nice with it. And you smell nice. Come on, done. Dior. It's funny because, so, but to touch on before about the whole girl whole thing, yeah. So then, like, I was speaking to some Donny, yeah, and like, he, he was having, like, he had a dilemma where he goes, like, he's just, well, similar to what we were saying, like, he was saying that he had sexual incompatibility, like, with his girl. So, so he, he just couldn't move, and he was like, what do I do? I was like, bro, you gotta let it go. Like, like so, so we were talking about, there's some things he just went on, there's some things she went on, but then, do, but like, like do, but do you really think, Women, maybe and men, but do you think women should disclose things that they need sexually from a man before you start piping? No, because you're gonna get weird. You're gonna get weirded out. But if they don't disclose it, and then like two months later, they're like, "Yo, like this guy." You've got to do. Uh, this is what I'm saying about vetting women. It's good to vet someone to see if they're on the path and the mindset that you're on in general. If it's just a beat, though. In general, if that's something that you're looking to settle down with. Okay. If it's something, if it's a slap and go, then, then it is what it is, isn't it? Like, I ain't really bothered about that. Do you know what's real? Because I think some men get horrified if they find out what the girl they want to lay down with and maybe even give his last name. If he actually finds out what she was doing, I think he would lose all, he wouldn't even. <laughs> the thing is, to, to, for me personally, I won't because I've got like a, a pain, I've got a strong threshold of like, I don't really. As much Go as ahead. as much as it hurts, I can understand because I've done wild stuff that I'm not proud of. So if she was to tell me this that and other, because I remember a girl said to me, Yeah, I got beat in the bushes in, in the field in snow, and I was like, What? That's not that no, but that's not that wild to me though. Bro, get him drawn to bushes, bro. No, that's not I mean, but that's not wild as a like that's more reckless than it is wild. It, what, just going to smoke on grass. Yeah, I think that in, in the snow. You Okay, okay. Well, you didn't care about life. No, but the snow is a bit... Okay, but fam, I've seen bare people fucking the parks in the summer, though. Who? Enough couples do that. <laughs> that's, see, but see, I think that's normal. Because you're a freak. No, but I think that's no, normal. But you're a freak. You've never seen a couple smoke in a park. Come on, bro. What? Never. No, but not no, but not butt naked bait. I mean, like, kind of discreet, like, blanket. You've never... Come on. You beat in the box. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you've never you're seen that. jungle behavior. How can you not have... This nigga got jungle Yeah, but fever. I think that's normal. How? I think that's normal. Nah, okay. that ain't normal, bro. Okay, have you ever got a blowjob on the bus or train? No. Let's <laughs> see, but... But wait, you've never had these things. I think that's wild. This nigga! I think that's wild. But how though? How? You've never had. I just think that's mad. But then, how would you feel if the girl that you're seeing said, "Yeah, I used to give my guy a blowjob on the train, in the car, in the whip all the time." Alright, so look, let me give you the story. Smoke a girl in the whip. All these things are normal to some people. Alright, cool. Let me give you a story. So I'm with this girl, and this girl's telling me, "Raw, like, boom." Yeah, man. I don't really like my man because all he wanted me to do is suck his dick in the car. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at her and I'm like, you're, you're a 304. And she's like, but she said she don't like him because that's all he wanted. Right. So I can tell what was going on. He was getting brain. She was getting wet. She was like, oh, beat. And he's like, no. No, beat, yeah. You're, you're just going to give me head. I'm going to cuck in your mouth and yep, keep yeah. it moving. Mm-hmm. Going to beat my missus or something. You're not my missus. She looked at it as a disrespect because he weren't beating. 
So every uh, yeah, day okay. you, you take her gym, they'll go gym together, and then just and then he would get in his car and he'd be like, "Yeah, give me brain," and that was it. But then she was just like, "You're just treating me like a jezzy." Then you drive her home silently and just let her off and say, yeah, "Get out of my car." Walk and then, the so she like because he had a big boy whip, he was kind of treating her a certain way. So she's like, "He's a prick. He's a this. He's a that." Mm. And when a whole says to you, "A guy's a prick," he's actually a flipping prick. Yeah, because I believe that. can take their threshold of how you treat them is, is different. The disrespect to how, yeah, mm-hmm. they, they can take different type of disrespect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're used to getting slapped in their face with the all yeah. the all of them thing. Normal. So, so, so them thing, you know what I'm saying? So he must have been trying to crack in her mouth all the time and she just didn't like it. After a while, she kind of got tired. and then She just thought, you, you're just violating me now. Like, you're not even giving me nothing back. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he's probably thinking, mm. I'm not beating you. You're a jezzy, like. You think I'm beating you and putting your dirty pum pum all over my car, like... Get out of here. Like, I can imagine how he felt because mm. you're probably thinking this, right, yeah. this old, this, this, this three or four. So sometimes when a girl tells you certain things, it's upon you to understand it in the way of a man's complex. Right. Don't understand from it from hers. her view. Mm-hmm. Understand it from a man's view. How? Why would you treat a girl like that that you think's wifey? Why was he doing that to her? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. she's a jezzy. Mm-hmm. That's why. He didn't rate her for a reason, yeah. innit? So why am I rating you now? Mm. And this is where a lot of men go wrong. They no, start right. treating they start treating the 304 like she's a wifey. And they get caught up. And then before they know it, she acts like a 304 because that's what she is. That's very interesting, you know. Because I think subconsciously, I might have been doing it this whole time, but to hear it so direct, I think it's interesting that you say that if a girl speaks badly about a guy, rather than deep her, yeah, start thinking, but why would he be dogging her out? And then start to deep her, like, why would he do that to her? Like, because like the last two guys can't be both pricks. Like, why would they? Like, why would they move like and, and and more importantly, why would she stay? Or why did she even fuck them? So then I think to come outside of yourself and think, why would they do that? Will give you a better insight to how maybe how she's moving. Cause some women get blinded by just, oh, she's nice. So she, like, I, like I got treated like she's the queen and pedestal the pussy. Cause a natural man instinct, I'm gonna just treat her like she's 10 10 because she looks nice. Mm. But but why did the last two guys dog her out though? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta start thinking, but why would they do that to her? Cause it, like, she must be displaying something where they just didn't rate her. But some, so I think a guy don't think for why the guy was doing it, other than because I think some men are so quick to jump on the woman's side, like it must have been him. It's, 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 it's feel for, oh, well, the guy was a prick in it. Because the way women speak about men is like they had no fault in the, in the interaction. A woman will talk like it was all him. And you'd be like, you'd be like, yeah, man, it sounds like a waste, man. And you, and you probably be right of her, you know? Like, you, you, like, most men write for women based on information that they're told. But they, have, but they haven't done no homework. They haven't, they haven't, they haven't been right there too much, but they're already riding for her. Because like, what? Because we don't vet women We don't vet correctly. them. And no, the facts. reason why we don't vet women facts. is because we was never told how to speak to women, yeah. how to interact with women, mm-hmm. and how to actually get information from women and how to process the information correctly. But guess what, though, YC? That's facts. Women have been taught game for years. From early. So they know how to vet us and they know how to, to pre us. Mm. They know the things that when we say, he's capping, Oh, he's not truthful. They know that already. So where the naive ones going into it's relationships, true. True. they're the ones that are on point. They're clued up, innit? And that's why now that we have a platform where we can help young boys with game. Like like a guy came on my live early, he's like, Oh, um, I wanna settle down, but I wanna chase girl. And I'm like, bro, you're just mm-hmm. moving mad. Like you, 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 your mind's on the right. That's kind of productive, isn't it? Like, so if you wanna chase girl, but then you wanna settle down, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Settling down will help you get further. Mm-hmm. Chasing girl will deter you from that. Of course. Because all of us that know that was chasing bear girl and was younger, we spent a lot of money, we spent a lot of time mm. chasing lots of women, being on the phone for four or five hours. I could have been editing and doing something productive at that time. Do you make sense? Sad to think, but yeah. I wasted a lot of time doing that. And then now, in the later stages of my life, I wish I could go back, but I yeah. can't. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now I rather tell you as a young man, don't waste your time with some of these girls mm-hmm. that have daddy issues, that have been molested trauma. when they was younger, yeah. bear trauma, and now they, they, all that trauma they're pushing onto me because mm. I have to take the burden of you. If I take you on as a woman, as naturally as a man, I'm going to want to take care of you. Naturally. And then that's going to mm. be to my detriment of my mental health. So, yeah. Yeah, I was that's just, real though. It's, it's real. Like, don't don't waste your time in it. That's, that's what, what. What other questions you got, man? So, who, okay, ne- next thing, yeah. Who do you, like, so like, it's, it's still an asexual thing, yeah? So who, who, like, who do you think is more responsible for a woman's, or a woman's orgasm? Herself. Huh? Herself. So not you? No. Not at all? Never. So if she knows her body, you're saying she should... Yeah, but some woman can't get off on unless you... But like, but like, do you think? But do you, but do you think I, most men are selfish in sex, though? I, but let me tell you why. Though. I reckon you're selfish in sex. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> let me tell you why, though. I reckon you're selfish in no, sex. But, no, why? I, why? Because some men fuck for themselves, you know. 
A lot of man fuck for themselves. A lot of man don't ever think, you know what? Like, what is she like? Man, don't think that. But I see what I'm a bit different. Let me get my shades. 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 <laughs> I think I'm a bit different, you know. Fam, a lot, fam, a lot of men, yeah, have sex for themselves. And that's cool. But me personally, I'm not going to lie, yeah. It, like, man gets a knot off anyway, yeah. But it turns me on more knowing a woman's getting off from me doing my thing. Yeah, but I'm saying... You know say- what I'm saying? No, nah, but what I'm saying is there's some girls, yeah, and let me keep it real with you, you will never be able to do... How? Because there's, there's a certain method that they like, yeah. And yeah. you don't have that method. You could do, what do you everything. Mean, though? You, you couldn't do it. But how would... What do you mean? How she would have... even show you the diagram of how to do it and you still want me to do it because it's a special method to what she does that's particular to herself. So in okay. general, if you go around, you're sleeping with lots... If you've got 10 gal, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you're trying to make 10 gal come. This one takes two hours. She's told you it takes me a okay. very long time. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, every time I meet you, i got to put two hours in. But on my back... It's gone. Where's my back? Yeah, you don't have no back. Where's my back? Yeah. Now you're going to tell me, lift heavier weights. <laughs> All right, cool, I lift heavier weights. But then I still don't take away that two hours of my life has to be destroyed to try Just and to satisfy you, you. I can't live like that, man. Yeah, but yeah, but, but, I, I, think, like yeah, but I think you'd have to agree that, that I'll say that a lot, the majority of men don't sex for women, though. you got to keep it 100 for I, I know you don't. Bro, I'm when it about, comes to sex, yeah, fam. But you know, like, I'm about me, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, what would you think? I was put on this planet. To, I'm not no. here for no one else's <laughs> happiness except for my own. No, bro, bro. What you're out here trying to be? What? No, make every girl come. No, no. I'm saying, but okay, bro, I got time okay, for fam. Okay, like, I'll, I'll break it down for you. Yeah, I'm saying, if I'm doing, if I'm doing a thing for a woman, like, okay, like, normal fam. If I'm, fam, it could be anything. If I'm. If I'm eating one pussy, whatever it is, fam. See, this nigga's a freak. No, I'm saying. See, this nigga's a freak. But if she's getting off, yeah, I get hard from that, fam. Yeah, because I'm saying it's a, I'm doing something where where she's generally getting off here. That's not, but that's not me getting hard for her. That's you of years of watching your rascal out porn. How? This nigga's been watching corn for too long. Okay. It's perverted your mind. Okay, so wait a minute. So so if you're with a girl, she goes, pull my hair, tell me I'm dirty, yeah, because that gets me off. And you did that and it was working. You wouldn't feel more in tune in that moment. Look, listen. How? I understand what you mean. You understand, you, you, I understand what you mean. You know what I'm saying? You understand what you mean. But if a girl's telling me, like, box me in my face, kick me in my back, yeah. punch me in my back, I'm going to think, all right, what kind of abusive relationships have you been in that you like this kind of you behavior? Abuse. Yeah, because, bro, why do you want me to assault you in through this? I'm going to have pleasure. I don't want to feel pain. You know, one day yeah, a girl bit my lip here. Yeah, I swear to God. kind of hurt, innit? Bro, she, <laughs> she thought it was sexy. Yeah, she yeah, she done it. I looked no. at her and I thought, I wanted, to, bro. Yeah, I ain't was, no one still, bro. I, I was, uh, bro. I was ready for. I felt like she damaged me, bro. Don't play them games with me. Yeah, something. I don't like nice. that stuff. If you get off and it's good for you, but don't try and damage my body. I don't want harm. Yeah, you're mm. the type of man. I know you're the type of man. You let a girl slap you, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but fam, I well, strangle you. Keep it real. Keep it real. I strangle. Fam, if a girl's, strangle. On top, a girl's on top of you and she's like, she's holding your throat. What are you doing? I like chokes. Calm. What, you like when they're talking you? No, I like choke. Like, no, not, no, but no, but like, I, I like choke. I like, so not, not like a heavy choke, not, not like a heavy hand, like a light choke. Almost like she's steadying herself when she's riding, fam. No, but imagine she put pressure. Depends how much pressure, innit? Well, she, 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 do you know what, yeah? I hate to tell it, yeah? Your sexual ceiling is not that high then, cuz. No, I, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I don't want a woman that's just on that same vibe because I don't want a girl that's too freaky because it's going to bug me out. No, but she, okay, how about if it's your girl? It's still going to bug me out. How? But okay, four or five years in, it's still bugging you. It can't, bro. Because after a while, you developed... The longer you're with a girl, you develop your thing, like your kind of chemistry, innit? Like, so you develop a bond where it's like, that's what we do. Because if a couple was... No, but, all right, cool. Imagine you say, that's what we do, but her ex used to do it with her. Yeah, but ex is long and gone now, And she tells now, you, he the first guy to ever do this to me was my ex. Fam, but do you know... Okay, no matter how no matter how amazing you are in bed, yeah, every girl has some another guy who did something well, wherever it was, before you. So it's like, bro, like, come on. No, that's not true. What do you mean? It's not true. So, okay... Le- I want a virgin. Let's... Okay, Ideally, I want a I, virgin. Ideally, give me a virgin. Ideally, I'd want a virgin too. But then, do you know what? I feel like, do you know what? Like, okay, like, have you heard the saying, break a girl's virgin? What do you mean? Like, break a girl's virgin mean not her, not her virginity. This guy's beating off back doors. 
That's normal. No, I'm saying, but like, I'm saying, yeah, breaking a girl's virgin, yeah, doesn't mean her virginity. This is X rated. I'm putting X rated. No, it does, it's not. No, Fine. breaking a virgin doesn't mean her virginity. It means doing things she's never done before. So you're the first guy to do something. But girls will lie to me, bro. I've been lied to my whole life. Do you know what girl? <laughs> what okay. All right, let me give you Go an example. On. A girl gave me brain once, yeah. Go you on. know what she said? Oh, this is the first time I've ever done it. Why well, see? This head was like a girl that does it regular. So I was like, porn star. I was like, wait a second. She's like the first time she's ever done it, but bro, she knew what she was doing. Mm. A girl that really said that to me one time, she was doing her teeth, and I was like, this girl, the teeth thing, doing. dead. And I was like, it was hurting, and I was like, no, it's teeth scratching, it's dead. She's like, well, what's wrong? And I'm like, no, 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 let's just beat now. But in the back of my mind, I was like, bro, she she damaged me, bro. She damaged me with the teeth. She actually hurt me. But I'm no, thinking, was hurt. she doing it on purpose to actually hurt me? So she puts me off. Women are very manipulative. I swear down, there's so many reverses that women will do to you yeah. that you won't even clock that they're doing to you. So what? This girl said the first time she ever done it. I started to hear that so much, yeah. It got to a point where I was like, <laughs> I don't believe any yeah, it's girl. Cap, it's cap, it's cap. I don't believe any girl. Oh, it's the first time I've ever done this. Like I was beat, like gal- smashing in the car. Like, oh, it's the first time I smashed in the car. I'm like, okay. Oh, it's the first time I ever smashed in the yard. No, I found, but I mean, but you, when I mean break a version, you've got like you've got to go above and beyond the normal a normal man's yeah, thinking. So you're a freak. No, 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 no. I'm you're saying a freak. because even if it's dead, you're a freak. no. But you've got to do something that she's never had done before. You're a freak, my nigga. So okay, think of the most common things, yeah. Like okay, doggy stars, normal missionary, maybe handcuffed toys. That's all. That's all. That's all considered normal, right? Most girls have done that. I'm saying you, you've got to push the boundary even further now. Like do something where it's just not. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? No. I'm saying breaking the girl's version, like she she can remember you for that. So you was the first guy to like to like lick honey off her back. Just, just any for random like that, yeah. So I'm saying, yeah. This nigga said no, honey no, off her back. I'm saying because now this nigga's a freak. Going forward, you're gonna be known as the honey guy, next. <laughs> going forward, yeah. You're gonna be known as the guy who did that. No, but this is the this is the thing of women. Women are very easy to forget the memory they had with you and you go to another memory. Do you reckon? Yeah, hundred percent. So a woman that's switching off memories now, yeah? hundred percent. You see, you as a man, you can't switch off memories. No, you but can't. a woman no. can. That's what I said to you. Do you think, is that, do you think they're that cold? Said, pum, 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 pum's got... George, some pum, pum, is, it's got a power of pum, pum. <laughs> women are that cold? I, I, know, I, know, I know a man right now that phoned me the other day. He said, you know, it's my baby mother. <sighs> Hating this BT, what? But the pom poms too good. That's always that, that's always the fool of man now, isn't it? So the pink pom poms too good. That's, that's always the fool of man. I said, what do you mean by pink pom pom? That's always a fool of man. He said she's white, man. You know I like my white things. I said right, Snow bro. Queens, yeah, man's on that. He's like, no, but this you don't get it. I beat bare white girl, but this one, she got a tight pom pom. I'm like, am I gonna get a cuff like that? Yeah, she got him in a she got him in a chokehold. Now now I'm starting to believe about about this whole. De- like, de- like demon pussy's real as well, you know. I'm telling you. But all right, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You've had sex with black girls and white girls, yeah? Is there any difference in having sex with black girls or white girls? Or all, is it all pum pum the same? Mm, is it? Uh, do you know what? Nah, do you know what? Nah, I think on the on overall scale, yeah, it's pretty much the same. But if I had to tip it in favour, yeah, it might. Hey, 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 don't get me cancelled. What do you mean? Don't get what me cancelled. What am I going to say? Don't get me cancelled. <laughs> you don't asked me, me though. No, 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 don't get me cancelled. I said, is there a difference? Now you're going to say if one's better than the other. No, no, I, no, I didn't say that. No, no, no. Don't get us cancelled. I said, overall, this scale is pretty much the same. Because, like, cause like, you know, like, okay, you know, like some girls can just get wet easy for whatever reason. Like, just, just a thought of. I think Asian girls are, uh, are like that. Mm. You never had Asian persuasion. I've only had one. Yeah, you ain't not Asian. I'm not gonna lie, is it not no no like the other day I saw some beautiful Bangoli girl though. Different. The, Bang, Bangali things are bangers. Though. I didn't know. They're bangers. I didn't know. But, uh, like, but she, said, she, she had like really dark features and dark like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bengali things are like. I didn't know. They West, you know what they look? They look they look West Indian. Yeah, yeah. They look West Indian. I didn't know. They could look because of Trinidad or I Canadian. didn't know. I t- I'm telling you, bro. I couldn't believe I was like, what? She was like fire fire. I was like, no. Nah. Did but, she have a back? Everything. I, I don't know what's wrong. The Bengali things <laughs> all got backs, bro. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm shout out to the Bengali girls. But I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think there's. No, I don't. I don't think there's a difference. Okay, like for me, like sexually, white girls are definitely more open now. Hundred percent. What do you mean? White girls are more open as in like something they've never done before. Yeah, rather than shy away. Like rather than shy away, they'll be all for it. 
Because you're a freak. No. No, you're a freak. Fam, two, fam, 2020, fam, in 2023, yeah, there are a lot of black girls who still don't suck dick. To facts. Fact. And you know that's right. That's why that's that nigga. You know that's right. No, but a lot of, still don't do it. No, but I'm saying, I, I'm saying, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know if, if that no, is true. No, I'm that. telling you, a lot okay, of them okay, are, okay, 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 like, okay. they treat it like, I don't know, fam. I, like, it, 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 I think I think the mindset, I don't know if it's how they grow up. And you know what? Like, like, on a side note, apparently, this is weird, yeah? On a side note, it's like, they say women who were, a woman who was, like, abusing all these things when they were younger, yeah, are more prone to being freaks. That's fucked, isn't it? To think about. Is so, it? Yeah. Like, so a woman, a woman, had a, a woman, a woman, a woman who's had an abusive past, yeah, She's more likely to be sexual and do mad things. I didn't know that, boy. So, because it's almost like a tra- you know, like the trauma, mental health. It's like it, it does something to their head. Because, because mm. you, you know, a lot of girls, yeah, like use sex for validation. You know, like to get it from men. So, like there, there are a lot of women who are maybe mentally unstable, yeah, who like, who like uh, use sex as almost like a, am I worthy now? I'm gonna give it almost like I'm giving it to you. Is almost like a, is this enough? Like so, like it's, it's, like they can use it as almost like a tool to like to say. Was this? Good? Am I good enough for you? It's mad, you know. I, I, you know, you know, you hollered at me the other day. Go on. Remember that mad girl that slid in your DMs and was talking crazy. The mad girl. Do you remember? And what on Insta? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. She started. Oh come on, man. Bro. She... Wait, wait, what, 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 what? The webcam girl. No, 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 no. The the thing that came one day and. She oh, was... sorry. Yeah, of course, course. Yeah. Do you remember her? Yeah, of course. Don't slide in my DMs the other day. Like, hi, how no, are no, you? No, no, get run, run, run for the hills. No, you know what? Yeah, because I'm so like nervous that she's unstable. I was like, oh, I hope your health, your mental health is alright. Yeah, run for the hills. I kept it short and brief. Bro. Mental health is real, bro, man. And then she's telling me all these problems she got in her life. I was like, you know, women that only come to you with problems, <laughs> they make me actually like, like I know for some men, yeah. It's like they got this save, this save your complex. complex. Of course, it's real. Yeah. But so when they hear women say that, mm-hmm. they want to save them. You see me, when you tell me all the problems that you have here, yeah, every single problem in the world here, yeah, if I haven't got like a, a connection to you, and I mean like a deep connection, mm. the first automatic thought in my mind is, I need to get away from you. Because yeah. I don't want to be around a woman and all she brings me is problems. I want For peace. real. I want peace in my life to a certain extent. If you meet someone and all they're bringing to you is their problems, mm. they're never bringing you their happiness, they mm. don't actually check for you. They're mm. using you and they're using you for some mental or whatever capacity value. Emotional comfort, innit? Yeah. But I'm not an emotional, I'm not I'm not an emotional pillow, bro. You can't use me. I'm not, I'm a human being. I have my own problems going on. If I'm mm. sitting there worrying about your problems, I've got other real stuff stuff that's going on in my life. True. But like I said, nine out of ten, nearly all women are narcissistic. For real. I feel like you said that to me. Who say I get another? I've been saying that, but that's why they have to fight against it to stop being nasty. You know, I've been running with that narrative ever <laughs> since you said it. But, but, yeah, but I think you have to. Yeah, but I think that's the only part where I tell men to pattern up here yeah? because if from the rip a woman's saying I've got X Y Z wrong with me, yeah, and a man just thinking, but I'm, I, I want to smoke, yeah. You're overlooking bare red flags, you know. <laughs> that's how you get yourself in and trouble. That's, and that's how you get I yourself in deep down, wars. Anytime I've ever got myself in trouble, yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. I've seen yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen ten red flags. I overlooked them. But the pum pum, mm-hmm. all I'm thinking about is I've got an assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, a I'm mission. Shit. Here's a mission. Yeah. I got the pum pum. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even that good. Maybe mm-hmm. it was wet. Maybe she was horny, she's freaky, because most mm-hmm. gal on meds are. And then after, I'm like, like now it's like I'm kind of in a mix. You see now. it now. Yeah, but now I'm involved. So it's like fully she's fledged. Like, you know, you made me feel so special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now she's trauma bonding me because that's yeah. called trauma bonding when of you course. do that. You know, when you like, you, you try to like build a connection that's based on your trauma. That's what I'm saying. Instead of just building a relationship, you're building it on trauma. Yeah. Everything's trauma. Like, oh yeah, man, my ex never made love to me like that. Anything, yeah, anything. And I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm, I'm like, right, I'm, what am I, a man like that? Yeah, but you know, like, and because you might have been of a woman that stopped telling you how. How amazing mm. you are. Now hearing it again as a man, that little affirmation, because men, because we're not used to getting validation like women are, when a man gets validated by a woman... It pops in it. He he appreciates her Tenfold. More. So if, if, if I give a woman £10, yeah, and she, for the next two weeks, she's like, thank you for that £10, thank you for that £10, it's going to make me want to give her more money because I'm, I, I love the way that she appreciated me. I hate a woman that's unappreciative mm. and ungrateful. Women that are grateful get more than women that are ungrateful. Of course. But do you think, but on that note, do you think women, 
if if men are receptive to compliments, yeah, and it almost like because it's so rare, we really do take that upon ourselves. Like we can't believe that just happened. Wow, yeah. Do you think a woman, but that could be a woman's uh, avenue to manipulate a guy because a woman, uh, bro, fucking you know you know that guy DJ Envy, mm. that you might uh, Breakfast Club whatever, mm. yeah. His wife, it's it's it's, 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 it's like it's not. <laughs> It's not, it's like last year, his wife admitted, yeah, that she faked orgasms for 10 years. I said, how can you fake orgasms for 10 years? 10 years. I'm going to show you, bro. I said, how could, bro, she faked orgasms. I was like, does she love him or, or like, because they got like four kids. How can you fake orgasms? For me, yeah, I wouldn't even know if a woman faked orgasm. At this point in my life now, I couldn't tell you if she was. Now, if a woman was going, ah, and I've even touched her, that's a bit mad, isn't it? But, I think for a woman to fake an orgasm is an L for her rather than you, right? It's, it's, it's not... But that's, the, like, that's not L for you. But the thing is, look, deep this though, if she can fake orgasms... For 10 years. That means that she can fake lots of things and that means that she can cheat on you and you won't know because, look, she can do that manipulation so good then she can do any manipulation so good. But let me tell you something. I'll be real with that's you. That's fake though, I'll isn't it? I'll be real with you. I believe every woman has faked a couple orgasms in their but life. But why? But the reason why is because it's they want you to feel good. Build our ego. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If okay. you really like me, it's not for women. Sex is not like it is for us. I think sex is more mental for women than it is for us. Yeah. So a woman mentally wants to stimulate you. So she, like, I know a woman can feel when you're about to come. She knows. She, she can feel your body. It does certain things. If she knows you, only a woman that knows you will know this. Fam, the, the, the fuck, your like body tempo increases, fam. I don't know. She she can just feel, maybe she can even feel like the... The, the pulse on your yeah, penis, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so if she knows... To get you getting off is by telling her that you she telling you that right. oh, I came, yeah. It's gonna make you feel like the man. Women know if I inflate his ego enough, then that's how I remember I said the pum pum's got judge. Mm -hmm. This is one of the ways that the judge starts working. Yeah. It's one of the methods. Mm. Tell you that you made her come like she's never come before. But isn't that comparable to a guy saying, you know what, babe, like like you look mad sexy in that dress and you might not even mean it. It's, it's like it's, 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 we're it's, all doing we're all doing this little manipulation lying thing to each other but we're not being honest so yeah but so can lying be, so can lying in some instances be seen as good or like lying for a good cause that like I'm lying to help you yeah if you was to be truthful with a girl that had 100 dead pum pum yeah bro you'd make her cry that, the reason why a lot of girls got dead pum pum is because we beat them and we don't even tell them why they got we just never call them again so yeah. they think you were a scumbag these times we're thinking, bro, that was ridiculous what you gave me. And she might even be thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I think just in general, but you yeah, but you can't truly be honest with any woman, no? Cause no, because I think if That's the biggest fool they <laughs> think ever. Yeah, but, but why do you think women try so hard to make men tell them the truth about everything? Like like they like a woman will almost so they can dump you. Yeah, but a woman will almost beg you, open up to me, tell me your Childhood trauma, tell me your secrets. And it's like, why do they want to know so much? Like, what are they going to do with that information? Why do they push so hard for that? Like, open up to me. Like, because because in that moment, I feel like it, it like demasculate. It, it makes you less of a man in a sense that you're so vulnerable to her and she has so much ammunition to use against you that you can't, it's like you can't even stand up as a man no more and say, I'm about shit because she's got so much to throw at you now. Do you know what I mean? I'll be honest with you, this for two reasons. Mm -hmm. OG talk, take this free game. Go on. The first reason is that she generally likes you mm -hmm. and she wants to justify the behavior that you're experienced to her. So for okay. a woman, everything's got to make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're moving how you're moving, but why? Mm. I need to understand you. The only way I can understand you is if I get deeper with you. But because you're such a closed book, I can never get to understand you. So I need mm. to understand you. So I want you to open up to me so that I can understand you. And the second right. reason is it's some women want to get to know your thresholds and your secrets so they can say to their friends and everyone else, oh, he's like this. The reason why he's like this is like this. Or they want to have all your secrets so they know where to push you or where to get you. Yeah. It's all about how I'm going to get you down. Mm. As messed up as that sounds. Yeah, but as a man, you got to protect your heart, fam. A hundred percent. You got to protect your heart. So man's got to be ruthless. Bro, being ruthless <laughs> is part of being a man. And but weirdly enough, that that mystery creates more like for you. A woman who can't figure you out will, will just it will ruin her brain, fam. A woman that can't really hold like tame the beast and really get you down will drive her nuts, fam. Like, why can't I just make this guy love me for it'll really ruin them, you know? Hundred percent.
And I think that mystery has to forever be in, in like, active, in effect. Like, so a woman not totally knowing you as a whole will make her want to stay. But women get bored easily, you know? Women, like, lose the whole excitement and what is he about? And it's like, they, like they're always looking for something new. So it's, it's weird because it's, like, it's almost like you've got to keep a woman on her toes. Like, you've got to keep her on edge. What is he going to do next? But if you become regular and routine, she's going to be like, I know we go to him at this time. I know he likes that food. He was that missionary. Then you're a basic guy at that point, you know? And so it's almost like you've got to constantly reinvent yourself with women. For your woman, personally, you've got to make sure that you've got something called unpredictability. You have to, innit? Um, and unpredictability doesn't mean you come in the house and start beating her up. No, 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 no. It no, means no. you switch it up. Today, you come in the house. I just, just do it You tell her, oh, yeah, babes, go to bed, man. And you just walk in the room naked. Straight. <laughs> You have to flip it up. You've got to be doing different stuff. Babes, um, come and have a shower together. Mm. Babe, like she's <laughs> Bad cooking food, you just bend it over. Just yeah, sometimes you're all feeding her food. Sometimes you get grapes and yeah. you're just feeding her. You know what I'm saying? Yo, babes, you like these grapes? That's <laughs> Turn candle on. You have, to, you, have to be, you have to be exciting and not boring because women, mm. when women can predict one thing a woman, if a woman says it's about you, you're done. Go on. If she says... Yeah, man, I know everything he's gonna do. You're finished. It's done, it's done, You're yeah. Finished. Yeah. But, but ain't that exhausting? Constantly upkeeping this 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 laughter of A just... relationship is hard work. Mm. A relationship is the hardest thing you ever do on this planet. I don't think there's a harder job than full time a, a, a full time relationship because you have to keep thinking of new ways of how to satisfy and yeah. keep this woman happy. But yeah, but do you think women have that same struggle? Because I don't, I don't think women worry about keeping you with the manic side. I don't think women have that issue. A woman that wants you more than you, you want her, does right, that. Right, 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 right. See, the problem what we do is we're, at, we're attaching ourselves to women that we want more than they want us. Yeah. So we never get the real benefit of them. And that's an L, isn't it? But I think, you know, in my experience, when a woman likes you, you do feel truly valued as a man. I mean, woman who's going to, like, she knows your favourite food and, she, like, she, she might think of you and buy you a gift. Like, she offer you massages just on her own merit. No, no type of uh, encouragement, like no clues to anyone else. It's just, I want to wake up today and please my man. At that moment, you'd be like, this is how it truly feels to be a king. This right here is queen shit. Unfortunately for most women, though, the, <laughs> women like that, men don't tend to want a wife, though, because they, 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 they might have wife material, but they're not of the calibre in terms of just what you're looking for, which is quite sad, because I feel like women who know they might not be on that level tend to overcompensate to give men what they want because they know that they might be lucky to have him. But generally, a woman who's a 10-10 won't feel the need to work as hard because life has been given to her. So it's a weird dynamic. Like, so a woman who's a 5 will overcompensate. The woman who's a 10 won't do anything. So it's almost like a medium of like, do I want to be treated like a king and settle for just a mediocre woman in terms of maybe what I go for? Or do I shoot for a 10 who's lazy in bed, can't cook, and, and doesn't really do anything? It's real. Do you know what I mean? You really got a fact because because nine times out of ten, a man will not. Nine times out of ten, the man who's sleeping with a woman who's hot will not end up being his wife because she's she's just that. I, I I think it's almost like I think it's bragging rights for man. I think it's bragging rights. I think it's to say, yo, man, I'm, I'm I like I'm I'm smashing this. You know, it's almost like a uh, a boost within yourself. But you know, she's not a long term thing. But in this moment. For you to say I've got a ten, that's like that's like raising your like levels now. Deal, dealing with tens is what I do, but you know they're not wifeable. You, you you know that deep down they're not wifeable. You it's, just know it's, that it's not because they're not. Then there's not wifeable. The main is everything. They they've been society has destroyed their mindset destroyed. of the reality of men. Mm. So and bro, this is actually real. I know a girl that was only reason why she liked me is because of the car I drove. When I stopped driving. I see her in a BMW taking pictures. That was it? Just a car? Just a car. She's just beating men for nice cars. That's a bit shallow, isn't it? It's a bit shallow. The fuck, just a car, you know? Just this. a car, bro. But I mean... Hmm, I she just wanted to be show... She wanted to be passenger show princess. Showboating in that. But I mean, that's a, I mean, I think women have to have more... I don't know, man. I, I think a woman, need, women need to have a bit more... Um, uh, yeah, a, a, bit, a bit more substance and depth because I feel like... It, it, how long does that last? Because, again... It doesn't last long. The... The high, fast lane, adrenaline rush life doesn't only last so long. Because I think every man has had a period where they was a man. Can buy the bar out, had money, had girls. But it was a very short, fast experience. Like, it's like it was quick. But it's like it ended 
faster than it happened. And I think that hit a man. I think as a man, yeah, we always want the the options and the choice and the accessibility to women. But I think the more you get of it, the more you think this is kind of dead, you know. Yeah. It loses its uh, it loses its a bit like ugh, what like what next? And I think that's why when a man I think that's why when a man hits his peak, he truly sees what woman can offer him. Because I think the more successful you get, you only look at a woman as what can she do for my business. The, the, the more successful you get, you start to look at women like how can she actually benefit me though. But when you're on a low level ground, well, like low level, it's like, oh, I just want to smoke her. But when, but, but, like, but, but like when you start to go, you think, what, what can she actually do for me though? Nothing. <laughs> she can't do anything. Nothing. And that's when you realize the problem has no value because she actually can't help me anyway. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm really sort of climbing up the ranks. I'm aspiring to be a high value man. I'm doing things. I'm about stuff. So if you actually can't give me nothing other than pom pom, yeah, this is a dead move for me. Mm. This can't give me anything. It's literally a slap and go for one night. But I think women for so many years have backed on the idea of if I give him if I give him enough pom pom, I'm gonna hold him. But man, you got options. It's just it's light to her, man. It's just. If, yeah, but if she does give you enough pom pom, it will hold you. Do you think so? If it's good pom pom, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but shouldn't you just not allow the access of that? Like, yeah, but do you know so, what I mean? But. This is <laughs> some man, they, they, they're switching up games not good. What do you mean? They, they're not switching up pro- properly. It, what, it, but even if they've got a high rotation, a girl? They, some men, they, they, they're cancelling <laughs> out all the other rotations for the one rotation because that one rotation is doing better than all of right. them. Right. That's real. So That's real. It's, it's all about what you, what your intentions is. But I'll be, I'll be honest. That's real. Like, if you're out there and you're, you're, you're sleeping with lots of women, then you're putting yourself in a position where you could potentially have a kid by one of these... Mm. Um, these grass mats, and if you do, then Leg of bees. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be problems for you in your life. <laughs> yeah, because you see when you breed up some of these girls, they have nothing good inside of them. That's true, except for what's in between their legs. That's it. Their head gone. It's just the it's their just, head mm. gone. We talk to them. They don't want to be your wife. They want to be nothing. They just want. Yeah, I want a million pounds. I want to go holiday to Portugal. Like, is that your goals and and what you aspire for? Mm. So you gotta know what you're doing more time when you're when you're breeding up some of these galley. You have to know what you're doing. What's well, money though, isn't it? And you know what, yeah. Like, and, and, like, and like, just the last thing about if, like money, that that, that thing, yeah. And sh- and shout out to Hunter Shake. I needed to get onto her about this year because 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 she mentioned this year. You know how I've always wondered about like 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 dates and like paying for dates and stuff. Yeah, there was there was a recent interview with 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 Fifty Cent, and and he said, "Fuck paying for dates." He goes, if a woman is truly independent, she's got money. He goes, I ain't paying for shit. And I started deep in it, yeah. I was like, regardless of who asks, yeah, do you think, because we're in an era of so much independent, strong, get money women who's a boss, yeah, like, shouldn't men just, like, do you think men should just stop paying for dates? Like, like is there still a standard for men to pay for dates with women who claim that they don't need men? Do you know what I mean? I f- I that should be like, gone, right? I, I feel like it depends what your, what your intentions is behind everything. So, like, for instance, okay. if this is my woman... And we've been together for some period of time. Then I ain't paying for nothing, bro. You have to pay certain times. Rago. <laughs> yeah. But if you're a new thing and I've just met you, to woo you, I'm going to spend the money on you. See, that's where a lot of us go wrong. Mm. If you know this girl, you're not going to link her again. Don't spend £90 on a meal of lobster that I did not want. Facts. We're going halves. As a matter of fact, no, 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 no. Shit. That's chicken for me. Oh man, my phone's died, man. Can you pay for it for me and I'll transfer you the money later? That won't work, fam, because girl of these days fam, girls leave the house without money on purpose, expecting a man to pay. No, girl is smart. Girl is smart. What? They, the they, they've been you, doing that. You don't want to embarrass yourself. I embarrass Hundred percent, hundred percent they would. Hey, YC, I'm I, telling I, you right now. hundred percent girls I'm are doing that. Embarrassing us. Girls are cheap. Bro, I'm looking at the guy saying, Can we wash up plates, please? Bruh. Tap water, you know, for, for, for like for drinks. Can I, can I, can I wash <laughs> plates, please? Babes, come, let's go wash the plates. Let's see if you're a real ride or die. She can be like, no, 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 I'm all right. I'll just pay for everything. And her face to be sour. I'll be thinking in my head, bro, I ain't linking you again, bro. Fam, there ain't no girl who goes on a date with a guy for the first time who doesn't expect him to pay. I, yeah, but... A thousand percent. No, not in 2023. What? It was still, it was still. single, strong no, feminist. No. You're going to pay for this date for me and you because <laughs> no. you believe in feminism. Yeah. Equal rights. Why did you work all this money f- for it to be equal? Yeah, because women like to hold their own money. If fam. you're my woman, if you're a woman that I'm, I'm literally, I want to invest in, I mm. think that you're, because look, 
Paying for women for stuff is an investment. Of course. Now, some things are not investments. Some women are liabilities. Mm -hmm. Meaning that when you pay for it, the price decreases mm. because they ain't nothing, they ain't worth nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but come, but bro, I'm, it, but is there a limit to how much you would spend? Like, do you like do you I, I tell men to give yourself a limit on money you would spend on the first date? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I'm yeah, not yeah, spending yeah, yeah. more than 30 to 40 pounds. At most. Top end. If I spend 50, I'm gonna look at you and think that 50 better be Narni 50. <laughs> yeah. But then imagine she had imagine she should take you back with a oh what? Like you can't do more than 40, you're a broke boy. I if a girl ever said that to me. I'm looking at her saying, <laughs> you know what? I am a broke boy. I'm not mm. going to lie to you. Yeah? I'm going through financial difficulty. Can you pay for this meal, please? Mm. Flip it on them. After in the car, yeah, I'm going to go onto my bank balance and show how much grand's yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh, one second. I need to check my bank balance while I'm driving. Oh, 10,000. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going bad. Gigs, gigs, gigs in the background. <laughs> yeah. Get that. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Do you know what, yeah? Man them needs to start keeping their pockets chunky because, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what, yeah? Because why would, do you know what? I've learned, yeah, that women want to be independent with men's money. That's the, that's, that, that's the part that nobody tells I, you. Do, not tricking us. Do not simping and tricking us. <laughs> of course. So. Spending money on women that you know you don't see anything with. Mm -hmm. Spending money on a woman that you love is nothing wrong with it. That's fine. That's a real man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But just spending money on bare gal. Because you got it. Yeah. And because they're going to rate you for it. Babes, call me whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are nothing but a jump off. So why am I spending money on a jump off? Forget that. You spend money on me. No, that's real. When, when you become a real top dog, every woman's spending on you. You're not spending on a woman. That's real. But remember like Lil Wayne and them man when, like, saying them songs and they all co-signed it. It's not tricking if you got it. So so, so like them man are flying girls out and doing the most and saying, and I got it. Bro, when they go broke, what now? <laughs> you understand? I'm thinking about all them girls that they spent the money on. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because I've done it before. I had I had, I had like four, five, six, eight, ten grand stats. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, like my money was going down dwindling. And then when I really deeped where my money was going, mm. I was like, I started to call the girl back. Like to, to think now like, bro, like, I, I spent so much money, you better come run me some. The number you have called is currently not available. Yep. Please try again yep. later. I was like, oh my God, she changed her whole number on me. I spent all 700, 800 pounds in two days on this gal. Got her hair, hair nails, everything and done. Yeah. And now I can't even get through to her. Yeah. I'm the biggest idiot in the world. But yeah, but that was just your guy of just the flexing. Like it feels good to flex a bit. And we, it feels good. I understand. It's what I'm but now <laughs> I'm not flexing for any woman that's not my woman. Yeah. If you're my woman and I love you off, There's no I will do anything for you. Mm. That's that's a given. Only thing I won't do for you is tell you that I love you because I know if I do that, then I've lost you. It's true, innit? Like, like you can't, like, you never get too comfortable, innit? But then, like, on the last note, yeah, do you think it's wrong? No, sorry, do you think it's right for women to say that your money on a date you, that you spend on me should not guarantee you entitlement to pussy? Let me just put this out there to you. <clears throat> it shouldn't. Because nothing should be an entitled. No one should feel entitled. No one should be feeling entitled to anything. And I was trying to say this to um, someone today because they phoned about their daughter mm -hmm. and their daughter was like, oh, give me this money. Give me that money. Yeah. She's at 17. Mm -hmm. You don't give me no money. And he said, I don't want to give her no money. I want her to work for the money. So she, she appreciates it, it more. Mm -hmm. she, when you earn something, He's trying to teach her a life lesson, but she's thinking that he's a bad father. Right. But I understand his, uh, his frustrations because he's frustrated that his daughter's not seeing what he's trying to do. Mm. But this is the same with any, every relationship. Yeah. No one's entitled to anything. So if you take a woman on a date and you spend money, don't think you're entitled to pussy. You're not entitled to nothing. None of us are entitled to anything from anyone. But mm. it should be an expectation that if I'm doing all of this to woo you... Right. You should be trying to give me something back in return because it's a mutual exchange. It's only totally fair, right? Yeah. I've given you the best date of a life, Took but you're you giving it. me nothing back. Mm. Now, a lot of girls won't run you the not the Narnia on mm. the first date on the basis that they don't want to look a certain way. Like a hoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for you to even feel like that, that means you're a hoe anyway. Right. If you just like Just be a hoe. Yeah. I'm not gonna judge you. I think grown women don't. I know really man. I know men that have beat girl on the first date and wifey them. True, very true. To us, it's not yeah. about if it's the yeah. first or second date. We're not gonna look at you as you're more decent or more more or less. Mm -hmm. If if your pom pom's whack, your pom pom's whack. If I right. hit you on the seventh day and it's whack, I'm still gonna think you got whack pom pom. Right, right, right. You can't brain. You can't do this. You can't do nothing. 
Mm. Couldn't even handle it. Uh, running like running like some cat every time. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, uh, what are you running? What are you running from? In it, come here, man. You're a big woman mm-hmm. running from what? Yeah. So, like I said, um, me you can't person, expect it now. Uh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't expect anything because that's how you get your heart broken or you get you, you get upset. But when you expect things, that's when you get your heart broke because you'll be like, mm. I spent all this money and she didn't do this, man. I'm a fool, man. Yeah, I feel Forget you. Forget all of that. But if I get something, I get something, I don't. And sometimes it's not even us. The gal just used us for a meal. We was called Friday Night Meal. Yeah, free meal. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with that. Because yeah, then I'm more full to me for being Friday Night yeah, Meal. Yeah, no, we're, men, have, men have to take accountability, but I'm saying that same expectation is the same woman saying, I expect him to pay. The man to, man to pay. That's the same level of expectation. Because even though we don't have to, I'm pretty sure 9 out of 10 women expect man to pay on the first date. So that expectation's there from on their side too. He's going to pay for me. That's wild. So I mean, like I said, it's a mutual exchange, right? 100%. We both want something. Because for me, bro, like, it's kind of like prostitution, isn't it? Like you're literally paying for sex. But I'm saying, <laughs> have you ever gone on a date with a woman and then you paid for the date and expected pum pum? 100%. <laughs> and the more you pay, the more sex you're expecting. <laughs> because, because... With, I imagine you spent like a hundred pound. I've never, yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking you're not leaving until yours are coming down because my car go home with a minus hundred. But you know what's bad though, yeah? Because I'm saying in that in that situation, But yeah, do you believe that's not even a fair exchange though? I believe that's not. Cause I, I <laughs> it like, can't be. Now, I spent 120 pound, yeah? But bro, now- To man, flex or now, just- but, No, but man ain't even got, certain men have spent 120 pound. They, they can't even pay their phone bill. And they ain't got it like that. The next week is going to peak, fam. <laughs> Greg Sushi's roll every day for lunch, fam. They've got no money to bank left, yeah? But they bank... <laughs> they, they just bank their wages, yeah? On her, uh, yeah? With no get back, fam. The, the <laughs> problem wasn't guaranteed. And that's why man them have got to start saying, yo... Hey, the worst is you spent all your salary and you get <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Stress! So you've got... Are you stressed? Bro, that's why you've got to even even before you meet. Yo, after the meal, we get back to yours. Like, man's got to secure it from early. No, no, but you can't secure the bag like that. Because, all right, let me tell you what I see. Go if on. you try to secure the bag too early, she's going to think you're thirsty. So, man, them try to play the smooth role. Like, like you know when you're, you're, you're walking her back and she's like, yeah, it's home time. And then you're just like, you know me, I'm a man, I'm jumping in the whip <laughs> and we're driving to my house. Unless you that's tell me, saying. oh, where are you dropping me? I'm mm. like, dropping you. Oh, you're not staying with man tonight? Right, right, right. And if I hear, no, nah, no, nah, I'm going to my house, I'm like, oh, mad. Like, that's, I'll say, like, under my breath, like, oh, mad. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything after. That's the coldest journey in the you car. I put in on some Ross Clark DMX, bro. You got to. Stop being greedy. Keep a real partner. Give to the needy. You have to touch it. So don't make me wait. Yeah. I'm playing some Ross Clark DMX. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing it. some flesh on my flesh. Blood on my blood. I'm playing some real gangster shit in that car, bro. Or 50 it. Cent, bro. The heat cocking, the dumping, the rum. Come really, in. Nothing. I'm Get rich or die trying in that whip, bro. <laughs> All the way home. Get rich or die trying. I don't want to know about no woman again. But I'm saying, Blue balls, that's why I don't put myself in situations like that. Not so, anymore. You can't like, do that. I'll never put myself in a situation where... You're just dumping I'm not taking a woman on a date anyway, man. Forget all of that. You can't, you can't do I'm all that. I'm taking a woman on a date. If you're my woman, you could go on a date with me, but I'm not taking a woman on a date. How about that? No, I don't need to it's woo dead no nowadays, woman. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do all of that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm famous now. My life changed. From, I think every man has my been... My life changed. I'm famous. My <laughs> life changed. From, every man's been in a situation I'm where... I'm an influencer. <laughs> I'm a podcaster. I don't need to do all of that stuff. My life changed. No, 100%, yeah, but that man is still in you. 110K followers don't chat to me anymore. Hundred More, more than that now, isn't it? I think it's 115, but no, yeah, I think that it's just, it's just in you, in it. And okay, fine. No woman or man should expect anything. But I think deep down, we, we still know the vibes, though. As a man, like she's thinking, I know he wants some, and she's thinking he's going to pay. Because, fam, every man's been in a situation where, fam, I've been in bars, yeah, and she's like, oh, we're going to get another cocktail. Man, see the back one, that's fam. Pound and t- one pound, two pence. Thinking, man, like, man. <laughs> Fam, 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 it's so bad for I used to be a dickhead, fam. I used to, I, like, I've taken that loans out of quick quid, payday loans, bed, fam, back in the day, like getting 60, fam, like, man's gone into his overdraft, tricking on things, fam, thinking I was a guy. I was, I was a young G, though. I was a young G, fam. But this is what I'm man saying. Man went into his overdraft, and I still got no, I still got no pump. I didn't even get neck, fam. Man got nothing. I went home miserable, fam. I was like, nah, fam. That's why I say... Young G vibes, though. Don't ever... 
I would never bank on the idea of getting a woman. You can't. I bank on the on the promise mm. of getting a woman. So I know if I've got a woman yeah. and she's with me, I already know that I don't even need to play all these little mind games. And I know she knows where it is and I know where it is mm-hmm. because she, we both like each other mutually or she likes me more. So mm-hmm. I don't really need to do what a normal man would have to do for her. And that's the reason why I secure the bag from early to, to make sure that the woman that I'm ever going to spend time with or my, or my affection or my love mm. has to be a woman that I see that is an investment rather than a liability and Facts. an asset towards me. Facts. So if a woman, if you hear me with a woman or you see me around a woman, it's because that woman has a very high value on herself. Right, right, and right. Like right. I said, a high value woman is not a rich woman. Yeah, no, 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 we're yeah. not talking about ain't this. Money, ain't money, it's no, like no. about her nice characteristics, feminine energy, She's um mm. she's everything you know that I like, you know what I'm saying? Motherly, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not homely, stuff like that. Um not out on the streets every day. That's real. Uh, modest, all of that stuff. So there's it. more to it than just what it looks like. hundred so, percent. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Don't waste your money on women that are not worth it. That's Do my not rub yourself out. Never. <laughs> Never, bro. Never, bro. Every man's been there, man. It's a sad thing. It's a sad day when men do that. I have to light a candle for you, bro. Damn, Every man's bro. done it. And because we're speaking from experience, listen to us, fam. Man rubbed himself out and just had nothing to show for it. Bro, do you know there was a video of a girl circulating, yeah? She said the you took her on the first date and bought a 500-pound Balenciaga um, slippers. What, like, but did he have it like that? Like, he was working a job. You know how we, you, when you're younger, you get a little retail job? Five bills. You get £1,200 or £1,300 a month. Like, 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 and you're, you're like living at home, so it's like, like, I feel like you're a millionaire type shit. Yeah. Okay, but it's fuck, 500. On a girl that you've just met. She's thinking, this guy's a whole bag to me now. Yeah. Ain't even about seeing him. Took her to an expensive restaurant, rubbed himself out again. Do you know, do you know what girls call that? A munch. Of course. That, you heard about the guy that spent that like a, a munch. What, what, how much, how much did the guy spend on um, Ice Spice? I think 500,000 or 700,000 on their first date. That nigga. Swear. Like, uh, church. Cap. Uh, uh, 500, yes. 500 bands. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga. But munch. 500 bands on what? He ate it for lunch. I swear down. Just she done. 500 bands. But yeah, but what did he buy? A car? Like 500, for 500 bands, like, on what first date? That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yo, he did buy her a whip. But that's what I'm saying, but... No, he a, bought her oh, okay. a whip. Yeah, but in his head, that's what I'm trying to say, in his head, because he's got it, it's not an L, because he has it. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. it does not matter. <laughs> the fact that you put her on such a high pedestal... Already. She's done. Mm, she can never be a regular guy now. Mm, right, yeah. The average she man is done. She off tomorrow, she, she'll always think that she's a munch. Right. She can't go back to regular now. She, uh, impossible. Mm. That's the problem with being too enabling of women. You, if you put women on a high pedestal the first time you meet them, they will always expect that, and that's where we go wrong as men. Yeah, it's men's fault. That's men's fault. That's that's where we go wrong as men. Enabling that behavior, innit? Yeah, yeah. You can't do that, man. Even if you got it, and I'm a high nice. But the thing is, with men, we want to be that guy because we have this um, it's, superior it's complex. A flex. It's yeah, flex, of course. Yeah, I want to be that guy that does this with you. A girl said she never been on holiday. Let's go on holiday together. Look, man, did that. Hold that. Yeah. But it's not, that ain't a move. Like, yeah, I bought a 500 pound trainer. Normal. Yeah, I loved her. But she now she's looking at you as just a bank job. Yeah. She, that, like, that's not my husband, that's a bank job. Whenever I need something, I'm like, babe, yo, babe, can you, but it's, it's not I want to settle down with, just can you, and, and the man she actually wants is out there. And that's why, even <laughs> though you've done all that stuff for her, she'll enough. still be entertaining another man. Yep. Because you're not the man for her. Mm. A woman will never entertain another man if she's in love with you. It can't happen. It's like she'll want to, but she'll flirt because she wants to like validation, pass times, self esteem. But she will never entertain. Flirting and entertaining two different things. I know people, people don't actually understand this. Flirt, flirt it could be playful, innit? it? Yeah, like oh, and the guy texts her like oh, what well, She's like nothing. To me, that's like flirting. Of course. Entertaining is when she's like, how's your day? How's your morning? How's things? Why do you want to know? How's life? Why do you want to oh, know? And he's sending her love hearts. That's entertaining. You're 100%. entertaining a man. You're giving him energies, bro. You're asking him how his day was. You even flipping asks me how my day is. Let my girl get a love heart on her phone and I catch it. Bodies are getting caught that night, fam. Love heart where? Bro, and you can't even come back from a love heart. You can't, you dead. Why did he send you a love heart? Why is he so comfortable doing that? What have you done for him? Oh, I didn't even sex him. I'm saying, why is he sending you love hearts? She's like, oh, I just sent him a picture. You sent him a picture of what? The same picture that you got that you thought special out of the random. She sent it to him as well. And you know that's so real? And, 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 and you know that's so real? I've even had girls in the past where they'll, they'll send a, a work guy a picture of them at, 
at work, like on the guys' day off or just whatever, or, like at, at work board. Are you on stuff? So my girl is sending a picture to another guy who she works with saying at work board. Them pictures are what I get. And all of these things, yeah, brother, work hubbies, everything done, all this stuff, it, it can't run. This, the listen, worst type of cheating listen, a woman can do listen. is not sexual. Yes, emotionally. Love hearts and, 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 and fire emojis. I and, swear that no, breaks on, my heart. Come if on, she would have told me she beat, it, it, it would have done the same damage yeah, yeah, yeah. as seeing the emojis. Yeah, 100%. I swear that my yeah, brain yeah, yeah. still done the same yeah, thing yeah. of seeing the love heart on yeah. her phone from another man saying that, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see you. Or like, this is what the guy said. Mm-hmm. And this is when I knew I was finished at this moment. This is what the guy said. He said, she's like, oh, why are you taking dead pictures of me? I'll send you pictures if you want good ones. Nah, see. And I was like, so you're sending him pictures? And I like, no, the first time I met him, he was trying to take pictures of me. I said, why, see, have you ever seen a woman in the street and the first time you ever done is try to take pictures of her? I, I like some creep shit. Thank you. <laughs> Who does that? No, I would so, never so think so that in my he, head. So, so how would he have took pictures of you and felt comfortable to do that? He, mu- he must have been? Come on, man. Linking you. Of course. So now you're lying to me. You're saying you never beat him. You're, you're swearing on your mum's life, your dad's life. She never beat on but everything. She might as well have. She, she, swearing on she might as well have. Swear, bro, this girl is swearing on... Bro, she's swearing on everything. <laughs> she must have, though, innit? That's sad, though, man. But she never beat him. So now, when I, when I realised, I said, you're a very good liar. Because you nearly made me believe you. But guess what? Man knows the game. Now you know it. Fam, if I went to my girl's phone and she texts another guy, just on my just on my way home, it won't be long now, XXX, I, I, I'm done. That's it. It's finished. That's it. The race is over. If I saw that, it's done. Are you want to hear check me? It's finished. Right, why is it? You want to hear check me? Two days before, the girl's like, do you know how low I am to you? Come on, man. <laughs> you know, and the worst thing is... I'm done with this podcast. I'm done. I'm, <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm done. I want to go home and sleep. All these women... I want to go home and sleep. I can't even do this anymore. And, and I'm tired of these women that say, oh, like, us two are broken. But why are we broken? My nigga, wake up broken, fam. That damage has been done over time. Relentless pursuit of fucking over, niggas, yeah? <laughs> it's why we are the way we are. Bro, let me tell you something. We're all broken in our own ways. Facts. But let me tell you something. There's no man that is broken by himself. It's impossible. There's always an oh, evil... Woman behind. ...grasmite <laughs> out there that's trying to break our hearts yep. and kill us. yeah. Broken niggas, man. We have seen the picture. We've, We've seen, seen the it. light. Sex videos, the texts, the cheating. So now, when are. man's savage, don't ask me why I'm savage. Do you understand? Women turn men into monsters. I understand there's been a process. There's, there's been a pain. Women turn men into monsters, fam. We know this. And now, I, now, man's not even a monster. Man's just a man just cutting through and living life normally. Mm, that's real. Ain't, ain't ain't a, monster. a monster is somebody who's doing things out of the ordinary. A right. man, I'm surviving. Mm. Right, right. You know how them girls are surviving R. Kelly? I'm surviving modern day women, blood. Trust me. You've got, you got a sift through and just... It's modern day women, bro. You think mm. you can settle down with these women nowadays? They will tell you why they can't settle down. Yeah, for real. Well, you know, I've got a lot of issues going on with me. What? Mm-hmm. I, so what was all of this? I spent all my money, I spent all my time, and this is what you give me? I'm done. That's what I said. I'm done. With, I'm t- Don't waste your time, brothers. You can't. Don't waste your time. That's my advice. But anyway, we're out. Another episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bow.